Hello there and welcome to another episode of What The Tech where today we're reviewing the Voyager Focus 2 headphones and we're gonna bring you a whole lot of details on it so you wanna pay attention. Grab those headphones if you have because it's gonna come in handy with some of the tests that we're gonna do. And over here today, riding shotgun as always is Dave Kelly. Orlando, nice to see you, man. Hey, listen, you made a point earlier today. It is officially the midway point to 2021. And for those people that are looking for some new and exciting products, hey, listen, for the people out there that have never used headsets before, you want to join the masses, you want to be more productive, you want to be hands-free, you want to be less distracted, you're coming in at a great time, you got to see what we have for you today. All right. Well, um, I'm being told by our producer, my, my microphone's a little crackly. Let's just address that before we go forward. Hey, Ori. Um, I'm just going to make a little adjustment here. Let me know if that the difference. No, just tell me. Yes. Yeah. Seems okay. Yeah. I think there it may have, I, that may have improved it. Is that better? Are we good? Sounds All good. Right. All right. If not, just holler in my ear. <laughs> no, it sounds loud, loud and clear right now, Rolando. Okay. Perfect. I mean, maybe my voice. Uh, I actually got poked in the eye by my son this morning. And so I'm, I'm like, all, oh, all, oh, because just all of, out of sorts, right? So just so <laughs> just bear with me if I'm a little bit goofy today. All right. And, okay. So what we're going to do is review, like you said, we're at the midway point. I'm excited about it. Um, half of the year, I cannot believe, is over with. I and, know. And, you know, so much has happened already. And um, the second half of the year, Dave, I'm sure you're, you follow it as well, how folks are heading back to the office. And this is a perfect time to talk about um, what these types of devices mean for folks that are going back to the office. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So this is the Focus 2, Voyager Focus 2. Uh, it's available in different, you know, single ear or double ear headset. And uh, Rolando, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the tests that you had that you had done on this. <laughs> it's all about mindset. You know, I have a I have a good friend, Deutsch, who I go for to advice. And one of the things that Deutsch told me the other day was about, it's all about mindset. And this is how I approached uh, almost Tony Robbins style. I was so, I was really just tired over the weekend and I didn't really want to do anything, but I knew getting ready for this episode that I had to film some, some, I just wanted to change it up a little bit. So I wanted to go back outside and just, you know, just, just be outside. I like being outside. And that really made yeah. a difference. I mean, I, I watched a little bit of Tony Robbins and I was like ready to charge out the door with the gear, <laughs> headed out the door. And you lo and behold, I looked at some basketball courts to film some of the stuff that we're going to show you here in a moment. Yeah. All of them had kids in it. Can you believe that? I wanted to just have the basketball court to myself. Not happening. Well, I listen, over. I drove around the neighborhood last <laughs> summer and I was ashamed to report through a neighborhood of a million children, no one was outside. They were just, it was just too hot. It was too much, too summer. So it's nice to know that there's still kids getting out there to play. Hey, listen, you do still have a little bit of crackle. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's an adjustment. You might be able to try something yeah. else. I just hit a button over here. Let me see if that 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 changes some things. Yeah, okay. No, I think it did. Okay. Yep. All right, cool. Much better. Awesome. Awesome. Uh so uh, yeah, and then lo and behold, the only thing that didn't have a bunch of people on it was a soccer field. A soccer field. So I, I, I wanted to do something with a basketball. I ended up doing something with a football and a basketball, which we're going to show here in a minute. That's great. Uh, so <laughs> it's all about mindset. Thank you, Deutsch. Help me out on that one. All right. So um, let's 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 jump right into it. We got a lot to cover. So let's. Uh, uh, you want to jump to trivia first? Let's go to trivia. I have no idea what we got today. So let's see what we've got. Rolando, I'm going to let you run with this one. I've kind of made an ass of myself <laughs> the past couple of episodes. <laughs> I've been told that this one's not going to really catch us too off guard, but run okay. with it. All right. So trivia today, which of these three famous statements from space? Okay. I take that to mean outer space were said on a Plantronics headset. One, the Eagle has landed. Number two, that's one small step for man, one gigantic leap for man, or giant leap for mankind. And three, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> okay, so we're going to find out. Mm, those are all interesting. Well, maybe somebody, somebody will tweet us. So if you're joining us today live, go ahead, send us your comments. 
let us know where you're tuning in from if you're watching us live. Uh, and if you happen to be watching on the playback or you're watching us right now, hit that subscribe, hit the bells, the buttons, the whistles, all that stuff, especially on YouTube. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified of some nuggets that we release that are not part of the show, Dave. Yeah. So if you want to get in on the inside, right there on the, the part of the club, uh, <laughs> go ahead, hit those buttons, hit those things, hit those reminders and you'll be notified. Okay. Now we got that out of the way. Let's jump into the Voyager Focus 2. Now, Voyager Focus 2, we're going to talk about how it sounds. But before we roll there, or are we going to go to the video first? Okay, oh, so. Listen up. All right. Go for it. Woohoo! <laughs> Love that. So I got to get my got... energy back up after those things, like you. <laughs> it pumps me up, man. All right. So what we're going to show you, I was talking a little about running through a brick wall, running through a wall run and doing some 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 stuff, Tony Robbins style. And this is me going out over uh, a couple of days ago over the weekend um, doing a demo of the Voyager Focus 2. Now, most of you may not use it outdoors in this way, but Dave, you know, there's people that go to soccer practice and go to their kids stuff or go watch games or whatever, and they want to go outside. No. Listen, listen, when we were when we had reviewed these this video, we learned a lot about this headset. So yeah. somebody's got to put it be so oh, sorry, sorry. Someone needs to put it to the test and what better person than you? <gasps> Thank you, Dave. And so without further ado, when we'll talk about more about this on the other side, let's go ahead Ori, and roll that footage. We're taking the new Voyager Focus 2 out on the open field to see how well this mic performs against a regular microphone that's just capturing audio, simulating speakerphone. Let's take a look. Maybe you're outside on that day where you need to be out with the kids or other loved ones and you got a windy day, you're expecting calls from the office or clients, and you want to make sure you don't sound like you're in a wind tunnel. There she goes. There she goes. We're in a nice open field. Summer day, cicadas, some sunshine, some clouds, a little bit of everything today. All right. And that has been a test with the new Voyager Focus 2 and my two audio engineers. Four-legged one, two-legged one. Dude, awesome <laughs> test. Awesome <laughs> test. That was really good. Uh, Ori, I love how you laid that out um it was real easy to tell what device the audio was coming through when he was doing it and rolando i gotta say you never once touched your headset it you must know stay that on was pretty well i didn't realize that until the very end i was looking at the footage i was like yeah i didn't it didn't fall off and i have worn hundreds of headsets and um that are like like similar to that and just walking around the house you're going pen, bending down to pick something up yeah the headset just slides right off so if you have that problem, I know it's a pain point for some. We've seen it on reviews and customer complaints about other products. This thing is not going to slide off. And that's me running around, throwing football, where a lot of headsets would just slid right off. And I have a little head. So if you have a, 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 a Dave Kelly head. The noggin. The, 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 the Charlie Brown. The, the self-described <laughs> Charlie Brown noggin head. You ain't going to have any problems. This thing is not going anywhere. So is that? Yeah, exactly. So you see me running around. Um, it doesn't fall off. Yeah. No, we, we did this on purpose. You know, most people may not be running around throwing a ball with their kid and their dog and, you know, on a soccer field, but, um, it, it just goes to show you, uh, how well and stable this stays on your head. So if you've had other headsets that in the past have fallen off or want something that's not going to move around or slide off your head, this is definitely going to solve that problem. Yeah. Dave, you know, the other thing we didn't show it here in the footage, but if you see where my dog is, if you want to, well, not uh, further, roll it back a couple seconds, Dave, um, Ori, go back a couple seconds. So we see there, you see where my dog and my kid there, we were able to get audio. We didn't put it here in the, in the clip, but we were able to, sh the audio was able to come through that far. That's probably a good 50 to 60 yards away that was where the range, the, right? of the range on this. Now there is, let's talk about range because a lot of people don't. Um, get range um, and, and manufacturers throw in a lot of stuff in there to confuse people. Range, if you see there, there's no interference. There's no concrete walls. There are no books. 
There are no monitors to get in the way. So you can go 50, 60 yards because there's the signal is straight line from the headset over to the mobile phone or for other folks that are indoors and using it with the computer, the, the, the USB port without that line of sight that you see here straight to, from headset to the source or to the device you're using it with, you are not going to get that range. So understand that in the field, open field with nothing getting in the way, you get really long range, but indoors, you probably get a lot less uh, of that. And we're going to have a product here to solve this issue here uh, coming up here in the next few weeks that we've been working on for the last year and a half. Uh, a lot of folks have been, Dave, you know, um, they're 10 feet away and right here on my desk, I use the, this exact same product, the Voyager yeah. Focus 2. And I, I go 10 feet and the range, it's not so good. And we have a product for that to solve for not just on the poly plantronics, but all Bluetooth headsets that have a dongle. Um, and that's kind of our, what we're coming out with a product to solve that. So if you're using the Bluetooth dongle along with that indoors, you will get much more range. So more to come on that. That's right. Global tech to the rescue. <laughs> yes. And no, it's been and forever. I've been hearing about a problem and it's something that it was solvable, but it took a lot of thinking to do that. So stay tuned for more, more on that. All right, Dave, what do we have coming up next? Listen, the, uh, we did want to talk about a comparison. You know, there's a lot of different products in this market, in this segment. Um, so we were going to talk about the comparison of the poly versus some of the other brands that are out there. Um, you know, different folks that, you know, the people that need this particular headset, again, we're trying to introduce this to folks that maybe it's not about upgrading what you currently have. You might not have anything today. So think about the value of having a product that can be used for phone calls. That's a given. But what about streaming audio? Maybe it's, you know what, maybe you have your lunch break and you're doing some streaming for something that's just fun and enjoyable, but maybe you're streaming uh, training. A lot of folks are into online training. This is a product that's going to bring you into that part of your day as well. You obviously have all your conference calls and your meetings, your regular phone calls. It's, you know, it's a powerful tool for listening to emails, voice recognition software. You know, I know it's kind of a niche, but hey, niches make riches consider the value of this particular headset because it certainly performs very well. One of the things that we noticed, Rolando, is you can put this on your right ear or your left ear. Right. So let me, some, let me, some brands don't do that. Let me put it on. I've got it here on my desk. And so, as you can see, I'm, I've got it here with the boom. And it comes down on the right. Now, if I wanted to wear it on the left side, I just obviously flip it over, rotate this bad boy back around the other way, and I'm on the left side. Mm. Uh, we've got, uh, I don't need to show you, but I've got several other headsets that don't do that. So they only stay on the left or well, actually the right. So if you like wearing this microphone boom or for whatever reason, you want to have that microphone boom on your left versus the right ear, you have that, you have that option. And so that's really a cool thing. Again, another problem solver. So if you've used other headsets and want that boom on your left, this thing will do it for you. Dave, you know what we should point out? is who is this good for? You know, because there's folks that are probably watching us for the first time or probably stumbling across our video for the first time today. And maybe they want to know, well, is this right for me? You know, it's it's not a $50 headset, okay? Uh, but And why should they get it? So let's talk about who this is good for. Yeah. Um, I, go I, think, I think about all of the different markets with office professionals right? We're, we're all doing things. We're all doing different things. Some of us are in high tech. Some of us are in healthcare. Some of us practice law. Some of us are volunteers. Some of us are call center agents. It's a product that is, you know, universal for office professionals. Um, even if you're not heavily on the telephone, it's certainly still a tool that you should have in your, uh, in your case there. Right. Okay. Thanks. Well summarized, Dave. And uh, like you said, if you're listening, if you want, if you're working on Zooms or Teams, this product is certified. What that means is that when you take it out of the box and you're using Teams and Zoom, you're going to be able to out of the box, make it work with some of the functionalities that are built into Zoom and Teams. For example, you can control the volume from the headset itself rather than reaching around for the computer. You can mute yourself from the microphone. Boom when you're using team or zoom uh by simply and i love this feature 
So if this is the normal, right? I'm talking, yep. you have the boom down. You just flip it up. You hear the headset tell you mute on. And now you're muted in Z in team or zooms, All right? No need to worry about that. Um, so those are some of the cool things, plus a bunch of other features. We'll get to that as well with some of the app uh, features that, that Plantronics has. So Zoom or Teams, boy, you are you're in for a treat when you're using this headset. All right. Hey, uh, Ori, can we try and see if we can bring up the mobile cam? Oh, okay. We got it. All right. So, all right. So, what we've got here in the box, you're going to get uh, we as a bonus. We throw in a nice microfiber cloth. So, if you want to use it to clean your glasses as you're using your computer screen, or even clean the um, the device itself, you've got that in the box. It comes with a nice carrying case, so that if you decide you want to take it on the road, this actually, and that's what the box looks like for those folks that are interested. Uh, you see, it says Voyager Focus too. All right. Can you still hear me? Yeah, we can Am still, still hear coming in loud and clear. All right. So um, you've got the product right there. Oh, look at that. There it is. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. And that's what that bad boy looks like. Uh, and it comes in this, this stand. Um, now, this stand connects via USB, and it only charges your headset. It does not provide any uh, um, routing for the audio. So let's just make sure you know that. Um, if you want to route the audio when you're using your PC, let's just start with a PC. You're going to want to use the Bluetooth dongle. Which yep. I'm going I'm to reach over here. I'm going to show that to you. And there uh, you go. You're getting a sneak peek at the product that we t alluded to earlier, our Bluetooth product that we'll talk about soon. All right. But here's the dongle right here. So there's the tip. All right. You can see that. And it says, and it now says poly. And for those that don't know, Plantronics and Polycom merged, and now they're called Poly. And all of the products now will come with the new name of the company, Poly, instead of Plantronics. I think I'm officially used to the new branding, and I'm I'm comfortable with it, and I like it now. I, 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 hey, it's it's great. You know what's interesting? If you look at the their website, it says Poly.com. So if you were to look at it just visually, it still says Polycom. It's still there, right? It's still there, but you know they just put the dot in in, in between Poly and Com. So um, the the one thing I want to show you that a lot of people tend to ask Dave is the uh, the noise canceling. So we, let's jump into the noise canceling. Was there something else that you wanted to jump into before we went into that? Nope, I think this is a good good uh, good start to the ANC. Okay, so the ANC you get. Uh, now let me bring it bring it up here. You get this button at the top. Uh, let's bring it into range. I'm not. I'm, there we go. You get three levels. Let me move my mic so you can hear me better. You get three levels of ANC, and you get off. So if you don't want it off, um, you don't want it on. You can just have it off. And there's a couple of reasons why you want to do that. Just I'll mention that in a second. Then you have two positions, one and two. One is a little less of the active voice canceling, and two is all the way maxed. Uh, with this type of active noise canceling, it's different than some of the other products on the market. It is a hybrid active noise canceling. So it does some some things. And I won't bore those folks that don't want to me to go into great detail, but it's a different form of active noise canceling. It basically takes the sound that is around you. It inverts it and, and it sends you back a different sound, the inversion of the sound that's around you. So it's essentially canceling out the noise in the background. And what you do get is some really large speakers, some ear cups. So you're going to get, even without the active noise canceling, I found, and I've used this now for since the day of release. So the, at the, this taping, maybe three weeks now, I've been using this. I find that the, the, the ear cups provide very good coverage. So if you have a Suzy Q, uh, Dave, you know, you've been around offices a long time. You know, you have chatterboxes around you. Uh, and people that they're talking about their weekend and they're talking about what they did with their kids or where, whatever they went, uh, they went to Vegas and they're talking about their Vegas adventure, but you want to get your work done, right? Office TMI, office <laughs> TMI, that, that should be what the meme is, but you know what? That's really what this product, part of the market segment is they're addressing users that need to focus on their work, their knowledge workers and the distraction. It's expensive being able to, um, you know, they have a choice. This is available on a single or a double ear headset. I'd say, Dave, let me correct you on that. It's available as a stereo 
and then there's a stand and no stand. So the f okay, well, um, so it's a stereo only headset. Stereo only, and then they have an option for um, stand or no stand. So my, so this is another. I'm glad you pointed. I give a point of correction. You know, it's it's a new product, right? So we're we're both getting familiar with this new product from from Poly. Uh, it comes without the stand, and so without the stand, you're only going to get the the headset. Take that bad boy out. You're only going to get the headset, and you're going to get the um, USB dongle included in the box, and along with that will come a a USB charger. Okay. Well, All you right. know what? The stand, not everybody would want the stand. Um, right. I have some of these types of products without it. It does add a little bit to the cost, but for folks that just want that additional um, capability to put it up, that's nice. Hey, Rolando, I like how the I like how the ear speakers are kind of folding in or out. You know, sometimes when people aren't using the headset, they like to kind of put it around their neck, and uh, that looks like it might add to some of the comfort. Yes. So with this, uh, with this Voyager Focus 2, you can wear it. And I'm actually, Ori, go back to um, the shot of me. Go back to me. So I'm going to move my mic out of the way so you can see that. You, actually, you know what? You won't hear me. So uh, let me move to my left a little bit. Ah, there we go. So you can wear it around your neck. You can wear it with the ear cups facing down. And yeah. Dave, the third option is with the ear cups facing up. Why do I mention that? So many people have different preferences on what and how things fit around their neck. As you can see, I've got a collared kind of uh, shirt on, right? Uh, and maybe I'm wearing a tie or, or, or something. I may have a chain around my neck. Um, the ladies may have accessories that scarves around all kinds of different ways. And over the years, people have commented and I'm trying to see if I can have, well, I'm going to pull another one so you can see what I'm talking about. Ooh. Okay. It doesn't want to come out of the box. <laughs> so with this, with the headset that I have on, you see how I've got it. Let me move, uh, let me move out of the way. I can wear it in those three styles uh, or fashions to see whatever is comfortable. Everybody has their own preference and comfort. So Polly really made sure to do that. So you can wear it those three ways. Now, if I were to just take this one off and I'm reaching for a headset that well, it's over $400, almost double the price as this one, you could see that this headset, you can wear it with the ear cups facing down and around your neck. And you can see it takes up a lot more space, but then I can't, I can't flip, flip it up. Right. It, that's right. it. It's locked in that position. Because that's just the way it's designed. And a lot of headsets, uh, headphones are designed that way. They either will sit only around your neck or they fold down. Um, and, and Polly's done a great job of keeping user preference in mind when designing this product so that you have maximum comfort no matter what way. Because, you know, so you're not going to be, for some folks, they're not going to wear this all the time. They may be walking around the office and they may just be resting it around their their neck or whatever so i'm spending a lot of time talking about comfort because it's a person a headset is yeah. a personal device like your mobile device like uh maybe your watch that you're wearing it, it it sits on you you may use it all day long so you want it to be comfortable the more you use a headset dave i found the more more you want it to be comfortable if you have only picked this up 20 minutes a day it wouldn't really matter if how right. i wear it yeah. because it just doesn't matter. I'm not using it long enough. But when you use it for hours at a time or multiple times throughout the day or multiple times throughout the week, you will see that comfort will inevitably play a bigger role than the sound itself. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I really love about brands like Poly are, you know, they specialize. They have a part of their portfolio is headsets and they have a lot of different headsets. But when people ask me, What's the difference between the poly this and the poly that? A lot of it is the materials that are used, not so much of how it connects to a phone or your computer. The high, you know, the more premium the product, poly is taking into account the fact that it's is a it is a wearable. So finding the right materials so that it will create the comfort to be worn long term, they're paying very, 
close attention to that. And that's why you have some of these premium products and also entry level products are all within one brand. But mm -hmm. be, being a wearable when it is good, let me say it differently. When it's bad, you find out real fast that it's oh, bad. Oh, yeah. It, it, it doesn't take very long. I mean, put on any headset for an hour straight and you will find. Thank you, Ori. Um, and this is just highlighting a little bit what we're talking about. You can see the design. It's got multiple microphones built in so that when you're using the active noise, noise canceling, it, it filters out your voice plus other things uh, uh, on the microphone. That is when you're talking, it filters out. There's the three positions. Go back to that, Ori. Just rewind it back again a little. Couple. There we go. So that's what that looks like. That's a much better close-up of, yeah. of the buttons. And what I do like about this is the buttons from a tactile perspective. Again, if you're a user that's going to be using this quite a bit, that feel of where that button is makes a difference because you're going to be reaching out for it. Maybe, maybe all of a sudden you have a dog barking and it's disturbing you. Boom, you just switch it up to the maximum um, as opposed to the off position. Go ahead, roll it over. The other thing on this, on this heads, on this headphones, Dave, that I've, it's very different. And you, you, you've used a lot of headphones and headsets too. Um, and, or it's, you stop it right there with the guy, with the guy on right, right there with the guy wearing the headset. The headphones themselves have a leather band that goes around the head. And that leather band it, it, on a lot of other products, they just wrap the leather around the metal portion of the headphone. In this case, it's not wrapped around the headphones. And it creates, from what you saw in the video earlier, a way to stabilize this headset on your head where it's not slipping off. And and that second thing is that it also acts as to keep it comfortable. Um, and a lot of the padding that's put on a lot of other um, headphones is it's to make that much, much more comfortable. So this leather or leatherette that's around that headband, you have like two two headpan, headbands essentially that allow you, <laughs> look at that dog, man. <laughs> uh, it allows it to be much more comfortable. I've worn this for three weeks and I got to tell you, I'll tell you, Dave, not all headphones will stay on my head for four or five hours at a day and per day because I just it just it's not comfortable to wear. I can wear this all day long and not ever never take it off of my head. I don't even have to put it around my neck. It's just yeah. on my head because I don't have any even think about it. It and I'm oh my goodness, it's lunchtime. And then I take it off and put it in a charger and I'm back on. But it's that comfortable. I find it very comfortable around the head. So if you've had Another another pain point. If you found other headsets uncomfortable around the head, this should solve that problem. You know, they might be onto something. They went a different route, like you had mentioned, from some of the other manufacturers. We've been in this business for quite a long time. I had asked you specifically about that headband because it it like you said, it kind of absorbs that pressure point. It's almost like the shock of a car. It mm -hmm. you need to have some space in order for something to give so that you're not getting the pressure. So um a risk and it looks and sounds like it's a winner so good job paulie it it, it it is and it looks different it definitely looks different than some of the other headphones um but we do want to be um we want to point out everything so we've given you all the good let me give you one con if i were to give some advice to the poly folks i just found that um because i do move around i get up out of this desk and chair and you know back and forth up and down the steps all day long i found that when walking it the um ear cups just make a little bit of noise you know like in like a little squeaking noise but again this is just me being me having used hundreds of headsets over the years and looking for what would somebody want to know dave if you're giving them advice about a product that they're going to spend good money on you want to know the good and you want to know the not so good so yeah. but in the net in the net in the overall scheme of things this thing is a winner in my book. And I know we don't have rocket ratings, but I would give it up several rockets, four and a half, <laughs> four and a half if I could. Um, so it's a, it's a keeper. So if you're looking at this video and just trying to decide, should I get this? If you're an office worker or a person that wants to um, take your audio to the next level, you want to be able to use this uh, headphones with your mobile device. You want to use it with your computer, both even. This is definitely one to consider. Excellent. All right. Well, I think that was a great review of that particular product, Rolando. Well, thank you. Um, and I just want to remind you 
if you are just joining us on this channel, check us out because we've got other videos uh, if you're on our YouTube channel. We've got other instructional videos. You'll want to subscribe and like that way you get first dibs on what's coming out uh, nuggets that we release throughout the week. So check us out. We're going to have some more and we're going to jump in, Dave, uh, right into how does this thing work for? OK, now let's say you're sold. OK. You got me. You got me, Dave. <laughs> you convinced me. I should get it. What do I do with it? How does it work? How do I turn it on? Or what? what's all these other gadget features that are on there? No, what should listen, we do? It's a wireless headset. The first thing anybody needs to do with a wireless headset is get this thing juiced up. Like you said, okay. some of them have the stand and some of them do not have the stand. The stand is very straightforward for charging. Of course, okay, then there's a USB cable that you can charge either directly from your computer or from a, uh, a bonus AC wall adapter or something, something of the sort. So before you get too confused on your headset, make sure that you have this charged up. Sounds extremely obvious, but you would be surprised the sort of emails that we re that we receive. <laughs> well, because you know, if if people are like, I'm sure a lot like us in that they don't even they don't even look at the the user manual. They they want they want it to be intuitive, and from that standpoint, Dave, this device is definitely intuitive. Um, the right on the um, on the bu the buttons are very easy to use. That's the one thing you don't have too many buttons. So we're going to get into that because this this headset will do several things. And or if you can roll it over to that B roll with the dog barking, because this is the other part that we wanted to talk about and and highlight this this. What is this advanced active noise canceling? So there's two types of noise cancelings at play here. You have the noise canceling where it is going to filter out, it's going to filter out your environment so that you as the user of the headphones are not bothered by it. The other part of it is the microphone. There we go. Now let's stop it right there. Stop it right there, Dave. Um, Ori, I'm I don't know why I'm confused. Again, getting poked in the eye wasn't a very good thing to happen to me before the podcast. <laughs> so all these noises, like the law, the the trimmer, the dog barking, the blender, the famous blender test, Dave. We have, you know, we'll toot our horn. We were one of the ones out there with the blender test. There's other folks trying to trying to do a little bit of what we're doing, but that's okay. We welcome a little healthy healthy imitation here and there. Yeah, that's so, all right. We're, we're full of great ideas. You guys yeah. will have uh, the same pretty soon. <laughs> so the dog barking and all of that stuff, all of that will work. In, so, so those noises, one, those noises, if they bother you, the active noise canceling feature on this headset will filter some of those noises out so that it doesn't bother you as the user of the headphones. Now, there's a second component to that, and that is the microphone. And this plays a role in how folks hear you because you don't want folks to hear the dog barking. You don't want folks to hear the, the blender or you maybe turning on the water and, and, and refilling your coffee pot. So on the microphone, uh, you've got several. Actually, it's I should say that you have several microphones on this headset. All right. And on this microphone boom that's the right word you have yeah. several mics and they work together to filter out that noise so it doesn't bother the person you're talking to all right and polly's got this thing they call acoustic fence technology so that just the way it sounds like a virtual fence around you as you saw in the in the footage there it, it's sort of like an envelope around you so that the noises that are around you don't make it. Now, as you saw in the footage where I was running around in the field, you get some of that, but you, when you compare it to the footage of just a regular microphone with no noise canceling, you hear everything. You were hearing the cicadas, you were hearing the wind, you were hearing, well, you couldn't hear it, on, you didn't see it on that footage with my kid talking to me, you could hear him from five feet away. This is what it's like when you don't have a good quality noise canceling microphone. It will penetrate into the microphone, bother everybody. Thank you, Ori, for putting that up. That's it's a great graphic there. So what you see here is is how this all works together. Yeah, you to know, basic... the, the, sorry, ahead, to, sorry to interrupt you on that. Mm. You know, it's amazing what um, what Polly has been able to do. They have they have the this microphone array. They have sound engineers. This isn't just grab a microphone that someone else manufactures 
throw it onto your product, ship it out, sell it cheap. That's right. That's kind of the opposite here. Those are consumer goods, 20, 30, 40 dollar headsets that are out there. They might work out good for you. Poly, these guys are engineering and they're using they're using their engineering science to create these microphone arrays. And it certainly comes through with the quality that the person on the other end is receiving. That audio, that that what's it called again? The audio fence, the acoustic fence the acoustic technology. Fence. Um, they've done some demos on this for us. It blows me away. Like it, re it really is super impressive. So for the folks that um, are a little bit more interested in high tech, this is a high tech device. A very high tech device. And speaking of high tech, for those folks that are also listening to this and, and thinking, well, you know, I don't talk to so many people, Dave, but I do listen to music while at work. I stream Pandora or Spotify or a podcast, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. You'll really like the speakers on this. And I got to say, I, like I said, I've been using this for three weeks, been impressed with the audio that comes in through those speakers. Yeah. Um, you get a good um, you know, I listen to Pandora and I'm a, I'm a big fan of Bad Bunny and I listen to Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra and I can hear all of those sounds, the orchestra, the strings. It, it's really rich audio and you have um, some settings and we'll get to this on the poly lens side of the app that allow you to adjust for some of that. Um, so on the on this, this headphones, you can hear really good music audio. Uh, it's it's not the primary function. So if you were getting just for music purposes, there's other um, headphones that are high end that will deliver better audio. But if you want a good audio experience and you want this to work for your work, this is a really good choice for you. This is this is it's going to improve the audio you're listening to while you're listening to that podcast while you're listening to. Uh, streaming music if you're streaming in between things you're doing at work or not work like me you know i was out with the kids and just and the dog and and took it out and boom it, it does the job especially if you're traveling too back and forth this will do a good job of of handling audio for you and so, if if and if one of your major complaints to your day are the people around you because you know what it's not always the noise some people can deal with noise but sometimes you are you're you're what, I joked about it earlier. I said office. Uh, yes, I don't want to hear about too um, much in TMI. Man, there's just so much going on. You, you know, you're getting to know these people on a personal level that you don't. That it's just it's ruining your day. It's frustrating. Yeah. You don't want to know the insides and outs of so and so's marriage and so and so's child and them swiping. I, I, I just, uh, my my friend Deutsch was telling me about a swiping addiction of a friend. So you just swipe, swipe left, swipe right, swipe, swipe left, swipe right, and you're hearing about all that conversation, and you don't want to hear about that. You know, you know, I don't, I don't, want to, I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to get my work done right. And some people do. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe you want, maybe you want to hear about um, Joe's swiping addiction, right? There's always I, some humor in it. There's always <laughs> some humor in it. <laughs> but to know so so much uh for those all right so for those people that are uh, in the office and they want to send us a, a comment what is the craziest thing that you've heard a co-worker say that was oh Dave, i like where ears. you're going with that so it's not like intended for your ears but you heard it you heard yeah. it <laughs> but you know what you know what Dave? you know what's important about that so so there's the, the 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 okay so you're around you and i may be around it in the office but maybe you're in healthcare. Maybe you're in the financial sector. Maybe you are in an industry where privacy is more of a concern, yeah. right? And you don't want somebody else's conversation to bleed into the conversation you're having with your client or a customer or a, another colleague that where that information may be sensitive or needs to be protected. This helps avoid that situation. Yeah, so there's the, the funny ha 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 office humor, right? And uh, we're all laughing because, you know, somebody's talking about their weekend or whatever or something else or their other then, adventures. And then there's HIPAA laws. <laughs> <laughs> HIPAA, HIPAA, telemedicine, telehealth. You know, I, I, I said this story, I think, on one of the other podcasts. I was talking to a doctor recently. And I said to her at the end of it was on a telemed, tele, telework, uh, telework, tele conferencing kind of thing where she, she, she offers her services over the Internet and like a Zoom type of thing. And I said to her, you know, I'm sure your customers 
and your clients will appreciate that they can hear you better um, if you had did, had, had headphones. She didn't have. She, she was just using her straight laptop. And it sounded like, mm. you see that laptop way behind me? It sounded like she was over here and the laptop was way back there, but she was literally in front of the laptop. It just, the audio quality on the laptop is, n is nowhere near where it should be. And if you are in the telemed or telehealth industry, you really appreciate this. This will bring your audio forward. You can talk to your customers without having to scream. It may not sound as rich as this microphone on me, but those clients will appreciate you won't have to repeat yourself nearly as often and they'll really like you for it it'll up your game and make your brand just stand out and from your client's point of view they're not they won't be concerned that there's other people that they can't see on the video but are possibly listening to them open their heart <laughs> or right i right. that personal information so it would Absolutely. certainly add some uh, some privacy to uh, to what you're doing Absolutely, Dave. You can't. I can't even. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't stress that enough, um, Dave. Let's touch on a, some of the buttons that are on here because this is where where it gets even more interesting. The virtual buttons on this uh, particular um, headphones. What you've got? Let me see. I can't see it. Let me move this over on the other end. So uh, are we going to go to the close-up cam, Ori? Let's go to the close-up cam. Thanks. So in here, what we've got is, um, and I'll try to bring this up. Okay, so you've got, you see this plus and minus, and then you see this light is flashing because I've got the um, headphones in mute position. Then you've got in the middle, you've got this little ridge right here. Right here is where you're going to use your functions for pausing and going to the next track uh, or playing. So if you're streaming, you know, YouTube and listening to a podcast or you're listening to, um, you know, Pandora, it can pause the music right by pressing that button and by skipping. So if you want to skip to the next track, what you do is tap it once and then you tap it twice. If you, um, uh, when did I get my backwards? Let me, let me go back. Yeah. Next track is twice. Once is for pause. Let me, let me say that again. Let's start over. Once is for playing and pausing twice, double tap. And twice is for the next track. And then the previous track would be three times. One, two, three. Okay. I like that it can go back a track. So I think a lot of folks don't use some of these advanced features. You owe it to yourself to at least give it a try. Because sometimes that telephone is in your backpack. It's in your suitcase. It's in your pocket. You don't have an extra hand. But you want to skip that commercial. Or you're just so tired of hearing... Um, that song again whatever that song again right. is just being able to quickly do a double tap and go forward but that uh that reverse taps really cool and i and my headphones is active so i doubled I, I i don't have a track going but i double tapped and it looks like it went to uh i had my my brother on speed dial there uh <laughs> went back and dialed him that's why I had the that's why i had frozen for a moment there we haven't jumped into that but okay so and then you have some other cool things on here. So if you're not, um, if you're not doing any of that, you're not streaming. You just want to know, hey, look, how do I mute? Look, this is the on position, and then all you had is flip up and put it right in the middle. I love this because when you have to sneeze, Dave, I know you don't have to let anybody know you're sneezing. You just <laughs> you just flip it up, boom, and now you're that. Now it's also got a secondary mute button. It's got a button, actually, this red button that you see here. That's that also, also that's also mute. So you have two ways of muting. If you don't want to flip it down, you've got that button right there, that red button. It mutes. So it's it's a terrific way to make sure that you're muted. So you don't people don't hear you sneeze or maybe eat or whatever. You drink your water. Takes care of that problem. No need to reach around for some other button on your computer to mute yourself. And you know what? If it is a sneeze specifically. Being able to not lose your ability to sneeze, because I'll tell you, I have had a headset where I didn't have that ability to move the microphone up. Mm -hmm. I had to sneeze. I'm looking on my app for the mute, and I end up losing my sneeze, and I think everybody hates that. <laughs> oh, no, you want to get that out. You oh, want to get absolutely. that out. Absolutely. Um, the other nice piece is you're moving the microphone away from your disgusting sneeze. That's right. And I also <laughs> want to point out... <laughs> something else man uh the other thing that i want to point out is 
I would say second to the uh, active noise canceling, the other thing that people have questions on, no matter what device they're using, is how do I pair this bad boy? I mean, that's probably the first thing, probably the first thing people want to know is how do I pair it? So let me let me bring this closer so you can see how straightforward it is. Right now, as you can see, you have two, you have the power and then you have this Bluetooth symbol that's on there. And you can see that yeah, I've been using it quite a bit, so it's been scuffing up. So in the off position, you see there's nothing there. You don't see the green. In the on position, just turning it on. Oh. Oh. Hold on a second. That was a fun reverb there, you know, when what? you have so many different audio devices, you never know what microphone might be on. And then the, you have the extra speakers and it's, um, if you've ever seen, that. seen what I'm, creates that it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot for that type of an issue to happen gonna, when you have so much stuff. I'm going to fix that for you. Just give me a second. All right. So, all right. So I, I put a plug into the, into it. So we won't get that. And, but you know, that happens because I'm actually using this headset with that camera. That's that we have the close up cam. I've been using it. And I didn't take it off. I didn't take off the connection. So I'm actually a user of this headphones. I really like it. So, uh, so what we're talking about here was uh, the the pairing. So let's get back to the pairing. Now that we don't have that issue, you'll see that it has the Bluetooth signal um, symbol there. What you'll want to do is just push this forward so that it so that it comes up like this. And it will send it into pairing mode. Let me see. Yeah. It'll send it into pairing mode. And that's it. You just look at your phone. If you've used that Bluetooth device at all in the last couple of years, you'll see that that will send the device into pairing mode, the, the Voyager Focus 2. And it will then, you know, you have to do the search, the Bluetooth search on your mobile device to do that. Now, if you are using this with the dongle, you don't have to do that. It should find it automatically. Yep. And on your PC, all you need to do is select the BT700 as your audio device for your microphone and your speaker. That's it. And that's even if you have to do that. Now, if you're like me, you've, I've got like 10 devices. I've got to go in and pick it out. But if you have no other device, that's all you're looking for. BT700 as your microphone and as your speaker. And you're good to go on the PC. Nice. Okay. So once you get this, once you get this paired up, Rolando, where do, where do you go from there? Once you get it paired up, you're good to go. You're, you're you're good to go to start talking to your friend, your your mama, your your dada, your your whoever you want to start chatting. You could start doing that. Um, once you pair it up, it's it's set. It's 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 it's, it's waiting for you. Just use it at that point. Awesome. Awesome. Now there are Dave. There are some additional features on this Voyager Focus Two. It would probably take us another hour to go into the advanced features, and we've actually prepared a. Or oh, do we have that? Uh, I know we don't have it. Okay, just to give you a little bit of uh, a little bit of a glimpse into that. So we have a twenty-minute video that goes in feature by feature on the advanced things that you could do with this particular headphones. And that's using the poly lens app. And that's a free app that you can use. You'll want to put it on your PC. Uh, Plantronics, uh, or I should say poly has a mobile app called plant right now, as of right now, still called Plantronics hub. And on the Plantronics hub, that's what you can put on your mobile device to do um, do, do some setting changes on your device and update it. You can also use the poly lens. This is a computer app and on that computer app, you're going to get way more advanced things that you could do. You can download that at poly.com and it will walk, it will, will walk you through on our video, how to use it, how to use these advanced features and how to get the most out of the, the Voyager focus too, because this is something that for those users that want to tweak things that want to. You know, uh, maybe they don't want to use wideband audio. They want to get a little bit more battery time out of it. This is where to do this. The PolyLens app. It will allow you to do that. Check out our video that we have on that. It'll be in the description so you can go to it, watch it. It'll it'll hook you up. Uh, we awesome. do it just for you. 
Dave, we do this for our audience and for anybody who wants to be better at sounding because that's what we do here. We want to help you sound and look your best. This app will help you do that. Absolutely. You know what? This is a device that's going to just leave a positive experience for the users and also the technical leaders within the organizations. I love the poly lens. I love all the advanced features. Rolando, I'm looking forward to seeing that video you put together. Oh, absolutely. I, I think it'll help a lot of people. You know, speaking of people, one of the, the folks, a group of folks that we really want to address as we're wrapping this up is those folks that are in charge of handling these devices in the organization, IT managers, it may be an office manager, sometimes in a business owner in a smaller organization. If you have people that are going to be using any of the poly products, especially this one, there is a cloud-based management solution that can help you out. The biggest headache, Dave, that we hear from those that are responsible for, especially a lot, let's say 100 or 100 or more, even 50, 50 or more devices, it is that, oh my God, headaches are a hassle and Susie can't make it work, but Dave can and Rolando is able to do something that nobody can and people are complaining because they want it, <laughs> right? So Poly has a cloud-based service that is called a Poly Lens. Thank you, the pro tip, they have a Poly Lens service. If you need help on that, give us a shout, send us a comment. Anybody on my team here will help you get, get you hooked up on that so that you know how to get that under control. It lets you know about your the status of your headsets. Uh, is, is, are they good? Are they working? Are they not? It lets you update. There's a whole lot of things there. So if you're an organization where you've got a lot of these that you want to deploy and you want to put it out there, we can show you how to get this done. All right. Yeah, it's, that's in, great. it's something that we could do for you. Just give us a call or send us a comment and we'll gladly take care of you. All right. So. Dave, I think we covered it all. Was there anything missing that we did? We miss out on something that would be valuable to our audience here? You know what? We probably did. We probably did. But like you said, we could spend another hour going very in depth with this particular product. It can do mm -hmm. a lot. Of, it can do a lot of things. It works great. If you're a new, a new user to products, you've come in at a great time. If you're using something that's old and you're looking to upgrade, you want something that's wireless, please check out the new poly stuff it's 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 fantastic oh, absolutely dave i can agree more i'm i'm impressed with that product um and hopefully our folks and look if you don't like it let us know we'd love to know I mean, it's a new product so if there's something that was not to your liking you end up using it we'd love to find out what it is share it with our audience let them know hey look this this situation do, 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 do. We let the community know, and we want to encourage you to join our community of, of like-minded individuals. So you know, subscribe and like and do all that other stuff, too, so that you can get in on, on some of that information. As we also release Answer the Community, uh, that's that's one of the things that we've found very popular, Dave, is uh, we I just sit down, answer our customers' questions, or questions that have gotten in over the different social media platforms, and just just say, hey, you know, you got a question on this thing, on that thing, blah blah blah, and then um, let us know. Maybe we'll put it on answer the community as well. So, thank you very much for that, Dave, for reminding about that. Let's go to the trivia. <laughs> I'm still gonna let you run with this one. 